Liam, what are your immediate thoughts after today? Yeah, you know, buzzing obviously, it's playing against a tough team and to top it off and get a win like that and to score my first goal here, it was a great feeling I'm just over the moon. As a team, when you look back on the performance, what are you most happy about? I think just everyone everyone stuck to their role, knew their task and everyone ran, ran their socks off throughout the game and did their role and the boys that came on did excellent and continued to, to get that victory and hold the game off in the end. Just talk us through that win because it's not just a massive three points but it's against a team who are sat at top of the table. What does that mean to get that result today? Yeah, obviously it, it feels a little bit better when, when you're knocking points off the top table and we, we needed that. I think we, we can go on a strong run from now and we needed that three points after a tough, tough last two games so it was a really good feeling for us. And how does it feel to get that win back at home? The atmosphere, you could feel it today, was just electric. Yeah, 100% the crowd, you know, you can hear them chanting and when they're scoring and it's just like when they get behind the players, I think it's such a special feeling. You just get that extra buzz to, to run about and work harder. And Ben opened the score, and it's something that he tends to do quite regularly now, you know, scoring goals. Yeah, you know, obviously he can do both now, and you can see he's a top player and, and scoring goals as well, so everyone's buzzing and happy with him. And when you look at Jags, he was involved in both the two first two goals, and it's just showing his expertise, isn't it, and his experience and what he can do. Yeah, you know, that, that first ball for, for Ben's goal was top, I think. Everyone's a bit surprised on the bench, but obviously, you know, he's played at, played at a top level for his, for his career. And it's astonishing what he's doing now at his age. It's brilliant. And someone for me, being younger, I'm someone to look up to and, and kind of follow him. So. And you finished them off with your goal. You got your first Stoke City goal now, so how does that feel? Oh, it's such a relief. Like, so, I was so happy. You saw my celebration. I was so happy. And hopefully, it's the first of many. And have you had a word with your dad since scoring that goal as he pulled you to the side after the game? <laughs> no, not yet. I'm sure I'll see him later. And it's been a tough few days of fixtures, you know, of considering who you've played. You must take great confidence from what you've achieved as a team this week. Yeah, 100%. Obviously, the, the first one against Watford was, was tough to take. And I think we all knew we had to bounce back. And we fought really hard against Burnley to get that draw. And then to come out here today and put on a great performance like that and get three points, we could, we're very happy. And now we just want to carry it on. After the, those two previous results, you know, two great results against two top teams, how do you now make sure that you keep that consistency up going into the next few games? I think we just need to carry on the consistency and everyone everyone keep knowing their roles and work hard for the team and just keep doing doing the right thing. So 